clue. And if you're not keeping God's commandments, you're a liar. Give me First John chapter two real quick. You're not gonna say to the point. We ain't playing no games with the, our people because we hate to see the sin upon our people, and we love you for, to get yourself right according to God. That's why we are here. We ain't no clowns. We ain't no clowns. We ain't singing to you. We ain't gonna rap to you. We gonna teach you this set of God's word. It's a necessity that you get yourself right and repent. So you don't have to rely on America to change your set of view. We're in the last days. Things are cracking down. War is about to be started. And what are you going to do for your salvation? Because Christ is coming. Christ is coming. That's right. The black man that looks just like you and I to judge everybody on this earth. What are you going to do when you die? You need to listen to the prophets of God as they teach you salvation. So read this. And laws, and shall show them the way wherein they must walk, and the work that they must do. This is the work that you must do. Fringes, water of blue. All right, keeping the Sabbath day. Brothers, if you could grow a beard on your face, grow a full beard on your face. All right, hey, that's all right. You're young right now, but if you can, all right, grow a full beard on your face. That's a commandment according to the Bible. You understand? That's part of the work. Keeping his high holy days. Right now we got a wicked holiday coming up. Alright? And most of these people are going to be caught up in that thing. Right. Right. They killed our brothers. Right. They killed most of our brothers. So you get that for me? They killed most of our brothers. Alright. Ah, so brother, from my understanding, you understand you're Israelite, right? You understand you got to keep God's commandments. Give me Romans 2 and 13. Alright. Shalom. We are Israel united in Christ. Alright? If y'all want to know why we are here, we are all here to teach you Romans chapter 2 verse 13 uh -huh. For not the heroes of the law So the Bible is being very specific The Bible says not the rich The heroes of the law These brothers and the rest of you You are all heroes of the law Let's see what the Bible says if you just want to be a hero We are just before God Not the heroes are just before God we She asked, why are we out here? Give me Isaiah 49 and 6. I'm going to show you why each and every one of us are out here for our people. Because guess what? Do you see your Christian pastors out here? No, you won't find them. But they are not sincere. We want our people to repent. Read that. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 6. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my son. That what? That thou shalt be my son. God says, it's a light thing, brother, for you to be his servant, for you to be his servant. We are looking for young black men to raise up the nation of Israel. Do y'all understand that? We, to be my servant, to raise up. The what? To raise up. If you have to raise something up, what happened to it? It fell down. Look around in this community. Our men have fallen. Where's the strong black man? Where's the strong black woman? You won't find them. Read it again. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob. No, to raise up the whole world like John 3.16. To raise up the tribes of Jacob. We are out here for one particular people. God says to raise up the twelve tribes of Israel. Keep reading. And to restore the preserved of Israel. We are out here to restore the preserved of Israel. Now, how are we going to get this done? How, how are we going to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel, brother? Nothing out of two and one. Huh? By following the commandments, right? So once we start following the commandments, we just sit in the church, right? And we just read the Bible. Is that what we do? Let's see what the Bible says to do. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. All right, I'll, I'll show you that. Good. All right. So what we're about to show you, that guess what? It's amazing that all our people have come out here and gathered together, right? What, under what pretense are we out here? Are we out here to learn the laws of God? Do our people come out here to learn the laws of God? No. Did we come out here to praise God? No, we did not. We came out here to fornicate. We came out here to, 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 to uh, have leisure time. We came out here to eat food on the Lord's Sabbath. 
to find a baby mama, to find out where the party at tonight. Let's see what God told us to gather together. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Do what? Gather yourselves together. The Bible says that we must gather together. Not for the Florida Clutch. Not for the new homecoming. Not for the Hillary Clinton uh, uh, rally. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Nation. Oh what? Oh nation. Oh what? Oh nation. Not desired. We are the nation that is not desired. Why is it when, when the Hillary Clinton and the Donald Trump thing, everybody had a problem with it. Everybody had a problem with who was going to be the next president. But somehow when we tell you to gather together under the banner of the Bible, you know where to be found. How is that? How is that? We, we can serve a soul to the poll rally, but when we tell you to keep the commandments, you keep moving. How is that? Your pastor will come out to church to get you to go vote, but he won't come out to church to tell you to keep God's laws. How is that? Think. Read that again. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Whole nation not desired. We are the nation that is not desired. You are falling asleep. You get this one time a year and the rest of the year you're just a nigga. The rest of the year you hate one another. And you forgot that you are the nation that is not desired. We, before the decree break forth. Before the decree break forth. Before the most I send the missions to destroy this place. We, before the day passes the chaff. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. That is why we teach with such urgency and such faith. Give me Luke 14 and 23. Because what we are doing is exactly what Christ instructed us to do. Alright? Luke 14 and 23. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said, and who? And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. Because guess what? You will not find your Christian pastor or your teacher. Because guess what? He do not do what the Bible says. We do it again. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. That is where we're at. Wherever our people are gathered together, you will find out you are seen. Why? Because we follow the Bible. We and compel them. And what? And compel them. And what? And compel them. The Bible says we have to compel our people to do what? To come in. That my house, uh, that my house may be filled. No, the pastors and your preachers, they should be compelling you to keep God's laws, to come into the church. Why is it Jesse Jackson is compelling our people to vote? That is not in the scriptures. That is not in the scriptures. All right, give me uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. Because with us gathering together, all right, with us compelling you to come in, there's something that we must do as a nation of people. Read that. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. You heard? Wherefore, come out from among them. The Bible says that we are to come out from among them. Because guess what? Just because we're out here at the floor of the classic, are we really take, partaking in the same things that y'all partaking in? No. We have come out from among them. And guess what? We apply Luke 14 and 23, and we're compelling you to come back into the Lord's house. We, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate. And what? And be ye separate. God says we are to be separate in every way, shape, form, and fashion. We are to be separate in economics. We are to be separate in education. We are to be separate in marriage. We are to be separate in fashion. The way we dress everything. The way we wear our hair. The way you put on your clothes in the morning. Read that again. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. The Bible says that we are to be separate. Because guess what? When you're eating Chinese food, when you're eating crab, shrimp, lobster, you are not being separate from the other nations. Who taught us football games on the Sabbath? Who taught us that? Who taught us to play football, brother? When you, huh? The white man taught you that. The white man taught you to play football, basketball, sing and dance. So what did the Bible say to do? Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Now, I'm going to show you what God set us up to be. Give me, um, um, I want uh, of you, your prophets. Amos 2 and 11, I think it is, that I have given your sons to be prophets. I'm going to show you what God ordained each and every one of you men to be. This ain't man's, this ain't my words, these ain't these brother words. These are the words of God. These are the 
a word that you will not get when you go to church tomorrow. All right, read that. Amos chapter 2, verse 11. And I raised up your son. And raised up what? Your sons. For profit. For what? For profit. He didn't raise you up to be a position player. He raised you up to be a prophet. That's right. And your young man for Nazarites is not even thus. Oh, you children of Israel. Oh, oh you children of Israel. So God says that we, the children of Israel, you sons of God, you are to be the prophets of the Most High God. But what has happened? We have become comfortable in America. We have become comfortable in America. Give me Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Because what's happened is we think that this is our homeland. We think we can follow the American dream. We can get the pick, right picket fence in the house, get a college education, and we'll be good. Let's see what God says about that. Read that. Micah chapter 2 verse 10. Arise ye and depart. Oh no, it's like get a house and settle down. Read. Arise ye and depart. God says to arise and depart. Not physical depart, depart with your mind, with your spirit, with your soul, out of the philosophies and doctrines of this world. Read. For this is not your rest. For what? For this is not your rest. A lot of you out here, you think this is your rest. Once a year, you come out here for the Florida Classic. This is my one time I can come together and see my buddies. I can see my friends. I can see my old jump-offs. I can go to the club. You think this is rest. Read that again. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. God says that America, Orlando, is not your rest. Read. Because it is polluted. Because what? It is polluted. Who can, what out here is sanctified by God? Who ordained any of this to take place today? This is the commandments of men, the traditions of men. Read that again. It shall destroy you. Shall what? It shall destroy you. 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. The Bible says that you being in the midst of this will destroy you, young man. Taking part in, in the entertainment will destroy you. And then give me Proverbs 12 and 26 after that. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. The Bible says do not be deceived. Just because your Christian pastor said, oh, there's nothing wrong with going out to the football game on Saturday. There's nothing wrong with you uh, uh, shacking up. There's nothing wrong with you having a boyfriend or girlfriend. There's nothing wrong with you going to the prom. Let's see what God said. Be not deceived. Evil communication. What? Evil communication. What we are seeing is evil. This is evil. Women walking with women. Women walking with women. Cooking Sabbath, cooking food on a Sabbath day. Women just around half naked, dancing, and, and, and throwing their bodies around for fuck. That is not right. Grown women out here with their sons and daughters, just like a whore. We be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. The Bible says evil communications will corrupt good manners. Now give me that in Proverbs 12 and 26. I'm going to show you, because guess what? What you young men are doing is correct. You have come to see the prophets. What's right, what's wrong? What should you do? What should you not do? But guess what happens if you don't do that? Hmm. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. God says that the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. That is why we can come out here and we don't get it, we don't give a damn about what you say. Because we know God's laws, statutes, and commandments, and we apply them every day. We, but the way of the wicked, but what? The way of the wicked, God says, the way of the wicked, we seduce them. The way of the wicked has seduced our people. Who taught our people this? Who taught our people to go to the club? Who taught our people to play football on the Sabbath? The white man has deceived us. But guess what? Not only has he, he deceived you to play sports, he has deceived you in the place you worship. Give me Isaiah 28, 29 and 13. Who taught us the Bible? Who taught the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man the Bible? We were taught everything you know and love here in America was taught to you by your oppressor. And I'm going to prove it to you out of the Bible. If you want it. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth 
And with their lips to honor me, God says, for as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, we but have removed their heart and what? Removed their heart far from me. Now, brothers, what is the heart according to the Bible? Your mind. Your mind. So tell me, why is the Christian pastors out here partaking in what's going on? Because guess what? They have removed their minds far from God. They have removed their minds far from God. You have been told a lie. Jesus Christ is not a white man. He blind really had. God's laws are not done away with. And salvation is not for everybody. That's right. All right? Now, give me Matthew 1 and 21. I'm going to back that up with the Bible. I'm going to show you that Jesus Christ came for one group of people on the face of the earth. Right. And it's not the so-called white man. That's right. All right, read that. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. So, Jesus Christ, the most I ordained and prophesied about his whole life. He shall bring forth a son. What is his purpose? Read. For he shall save his people. He shall what? He shall save his people. Now, just in case you don't know the lineage of Jesus Christ, Matthew 2 and 6, let's understand who was Jesus Christ's people. Who was his people? We're going to read. Matthew chapter 2 verse 6. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah. In the land of what? In the land of Judah. Not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. Hold on, that shall do what? Rule my people. Now so Jesus Christ shall rule his people, God's people. We Israel. Who? Israel. Who? Israel. There you go. The Bible is written to the Israelites for the Israelites. By the Israelites. There you go, Matthew 15 and 24. Let's get that. Who was Jesus Christ sent to? Who was the Messiah, the black Messiah? Who was he sent to? Let's see. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the Bible says that he is not sent. To the lost sheep of Israel. But what has happened to you so called happened to the lost sheep of the house of Israel? I'm gonna show you what we're lost. I'm gonna show you why we're in the midst of drunkenness, fornication, adultery, murders, revelings. We Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 11. Have a nation changed their God? The Bible says, Have a nation changed their gods? Has a nation changed their gods? Obviously. You guys have changed your gods. Because this is not ordained or written of in the Bible. Read. Have the nation changed their gods, which are yet no God. Which are what? Which are yet no God. Who is your gods today? Your gods are your politicians. Your gods are your pastors. Your gods are your leaders. Your gods is Caesar Borgia. That white man pretending to be Jesus Christ. Read. But my people have changed their glory for that which the not profit. We have changed the glory of God, the commandments of God for that which does not profit. We have took off our beautiful garments and put on pants. You men have took off your beautiful garments and low ride your pants and show your buddy, you show your behind. We have changed a beautiful marriage to be a homemonger. We have changed to that which does not profit us. We I'm Eldon Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.